I'm going to show you how to make a Japanese fried short grain rice, well flavored with butter and garlic. Take 500 grams of short grain rice. Watch it three times to remove the starch. Without watching it, the rice once cooked will be too sticky. Let it soak for 30 minutes. Thus, the grains of rice will have a soft, not dry texture. During this time, chop 30 grams of garlic. Mince a green onion. Briefly beat four eggs with a pinch of salt. Cut 50 grams of butter into chunks. After 30 minutes, drain the rice. Put it in a saucepan. Add the 550 grams of water. Cook it over high heat. When the rice burns, making big bubbles that rise in the pan, turn to low heat and leave for another 10 minutes. Use a fairly high pan to prevent the scum from overflowing. Never stir the rice and don't open the lid. After 10 minutes, all the liquid is absorbed and the rice is cooked. Turn off the heat and leave for 10 minutes to have a good texture. Then, air it with chopsticks. For the final cooking, in a pan over medium heat, put the butter. As soon as it has melted, add the minced garlic. Constantly stir, it should not brown. After 20 seconds, add the rice. Also put half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Stir for four minutes. Make room in one corner of the pan to add the beaten eggs. Stir with chopsticks so that it coagulates harmoniously. Then, stir all together for one minute. Finally, add the green onion. Keep a little for the final decoration. Briefly stir and turn off the heat. The Japanese garlic and butter fry rice is ready. Bon appétit!
Make this dish, take it in your bentos. See you at the next homemade dish on Morgan Recipes.